Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I want to talk for a minute about the mind. What, uh, there's, you know, different uh, concepts of what the mind is. Our, my concept is that the mind is that little voice inside of your head that's fairly reptilian by nature. Uh, kill or be killed. Uh, it talks to you. Very rarely does it tell you that something good. Uh, you wake up in the morning and you're feeling okay, then you get a twinge or something, and your mind immediately knows that there's something wrong. Uh, and the, what I think the trick is to find ways out of your mind, okay? Ways that, well, you mean, um, ways where you go mindless, ways where your mind is quiet, it's not bothersome. Uh, for me, uh, it happens when I interact with people, mostly, mostly. Uh, I usually attempt to enhance a person's day, usually attempt to uh, make their day better, and I've got a fair sense of humor, so I can do that. But uh, I was uh, interacting with an ex-client of mine last week and uh, was accused of all sorts of things. Uh, we were upstairs in his house, uh, and it was scheduled to be a tense meeting because I was supposed to get feedback and uh, about my ethics and uh, my impact or something. Uh, my ex-client was about to take his son for surgery, so I knew one thing I had to do. I had to keep the conversation light because if, if it got tense or heavy, uh, it would not ease any of the stress that he was undergoing, uh, especially, you know, you, his kids was going for general anesthetic. Uh, so we went through the conversation, and I got the feedback, which were basically whiskey-induced delusional rantings, uh, which I have some skill at uh, recognizing, uh, since my father was an alcoholic and liked uh, the hard stuff, and would come home and piece these little dots together. <laughs> it's, Mick, when you did this and that, then this, then that. And when I was a kid, of course, I looked and I thought, holy shit. Right? As I grew up, I thought, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's, that's his ramblings. It doesn't have much to do with me. I can take it on and believe it or not. But the design of the mind, I think, is to see, can, if, if I'm in my head, if I'm uh, worried about things, can I say something to you in such a way that I can get you to take it personally? And if you take it personally, then you'll be in your mind and, rant, 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 and making somebody wrong and arguing with them and on and on and on. And it's, it's just, it, it's how people impact one another. The point of this video is, I know how to get out of my mind most times. I interact with somebody. I go and I have fun with somebody. I enjoy somebody. I get curious with somebody. Uh, my family, it's easy to do that with because they're all trained in this method and they pretty much stay out of their heads. Uh, if A few years ago, my wife came to me and she started yelling at me and my reactionary mind took over first and I started yelling back and she said, stop it, stop it, that's not your job here right now. I said, oh, yeah, sorry, you're right, my job is to enjoy you and what you're going through and let you vent through this stuff and, and walk through it that way. But recently, I haven't been working much, I haven't been doing many, many of my classes, I'm not much of a marketer, I do these videos and hopefully somebody will discover my amazing talent. But we had dentists from Korea in the house and I had an intentional consultation with them and slept brilliantly that night. Just had a wonderful time with them getting curious and looking at possibilities. Uh, what I'm looking at doing in the near future, my sister is involved with a woman, Nook, I don't know what her last name is, but she's written a book called uh, Take Me to Truth, which I'm uh, starting to read. And uh, they somehow get out into that state of grace, that embodiment of, of just you, uh, and they, they say that they can show you how to do it differently. Uh, when Nicole and I went to Korea, we sat for days, literally just sitting. Right? And we were given just a few instructions. Trust me. Look for the answer. But don't keep asking yourself the question to look for the answer. Just look for the answer. Just find the answer. Right? And when you found it, it was a place that I'm familiar with. A place that's very soothing, where everything is perfect. There's a oneness that is, is so palpable that you can't get rid of it. But I don't find myself doing that here. I don't sit and meditate. I don't sit and, and uh, look for the answer. I don't know why. It's just not something I do. I'm not good at meditating. But what I'm looking for is how other people do it. 
Like I said, when I work, I go to higher states of awareness. It's almost uh, predictable. It's, it's, it's fairly predictable, but there's times when it doesn't happen. But uh, that's why, and I've said for my year, for years, I'm addicted to my work. I love my work. People have said the only place you belong is in front of the room because of this addiction, because of who I am in my work. But uh, looking at other, I'll keep you updated for sure. I'll do the videos to let you know what, how they do it and um, what I, how I experience it. I'm not going to say what I think about it because that would be completely irrelevant. My thinking is as ridiculous as yours, and it's not of interest to anybody, including me. <laughs> but uh, just trying to give you some distinctions around the mind, uh, looking at it, find your way out of your mind. Uh, apparently, I talked to my sister, my little brother says, the minute he steps into the woods to walk his dogs, his mind goes quiet. So he walks his dog quite a bit. Uh, find your way. Uh, if you can't keep searching, there's a way out for you to get out of your mind. Uh, and I don't know what it is for you. I can, if we sit in a class together, a lot of times I can sort through it and figure it out with you. But until then, have a fun day. Have as much fun as you can. www.micperformance.com.